Hi friends, welcome to Computer Tutorial for Beginner Course by Tech Plus. In today's session, we will learn about how to customize and arrange desktop icons according to our needs. Let's see how to move icons from one place to another. Whichever icon you want to move, just first click on it, then hold the click and drag it to the location you want and then release the first click. If you want to move more than one icon at a time, then select them and by clicking on one of icon, drag them to place wherever you like and release them. If you want that all the icons on desktop to automatically arrange themselves, then right click on the blank area of desktop and click on the view and then click on the auto arrange icons. In this way, you can see that icons automatically arrange themselves. But after auto arranging the icon, you cannot freely move the icons on desktop. If you want to move them again, then you need to remove that auto arrange tick mark. Then you can again freely move the icons on desktop. Decreasing the space between desktop icons. If you see carefully, you can see that there is a space between every two icons on desktop. But if you want to decrease the space between them, for that right click on the desktop and click on the view and then remove tick in front of aligning icons in the grid. Then you can move the icons near to each other and decrease the space between them. Hide desktop icons. Let's see how to hide all the icons on desktop. For that, right click on the desktop and click on the view and then remove the tick mark in front of show desktop icons. Here you can see that all the icons are hidden. Now if you want them back to show on desktop, just add the tick mark in front of show desktop icons and you will see all the icons shown on the desktop. Change desktop icon sizes If you want to change the size of these icons mean make them small, medium or larger then right click on the desktop, select view and then click on large icon, medium icon or small icons to make icons larger, medium or smaller respectively. Just like if I click on the large icon, you can see all the icons are become larger. In this way you can make the icons larger or smaller according to your need. How to use recycle bin? Let's see how to use recycle bin. Whenever you delete some file or folder, it is not deleted permanently. It is actually just moved to the recycle bin. Here it is temporarily stored until the recycle bin is emptied. If you change your mind and you want back the deleted file or folder, for that you can use the recycle bin. Just like I will delete this folder. It's now moved to recycle bin. If I want it back, then open the recycle bin and here you can see that this is my folder. Now double click on it and then click on restore and then click on ok. Here you can see that I got it back. That's all for this time guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any question or suggestion regarding this video, then please write us in the comment box. If you enjoy this video, be sure to give that like button click and for more computer tutorials, hacks, tricks and tips, be sure to subscribe by clicking on the red subscribe button. Please leave a comment and I look forward to seeing you inside my next video. Bye bye.